So Michael Clayton. Now, this is the guy that wrote Jurassic Park, right? What? No, no, that, no that's no. Michael Crichton. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. All no. white people look alike. Michael Clayton is a fixer. He's the guy for a big company who would rather just be a regular lawyer, but he's so good at what he does, which is he steps in when everybody else completely f's things up, and he fixes it. I, I kind of saw this as a as a little more serious somber Aaron Brockovich. No, the only reason you're saying Aaron Brockovich because it's another movie that's just named after the main character. Exactly, Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> you could have said this Michael is, Clayton. <laughs> this is just like Simon Birch, uh, as you said. George Clooney's Michael Clayton. He's the guy at the legal firms. They call in. He works for this firm, and they call him in to just smooth things over. He, if he can't do it for you, then he knows somebody who can do it. In this movie, he they have a huge client. What are they call you, you soft or you, you firm or whatever. You grow, you north. What the hell are they called? You, you, you glow or something. Anyway, it's a big company. They're like. They, they do what insecticides or right, fertilizer right. and they try to come off as being earth friendly but they are killing people like the umbrella corporation from resident evil <laughs> yeah, right now that would have been cool i would have liked that i knew y'all would have some <laughs> trap door which you would geek out on <laughs> these <laughs> damn video games can we stay on the subject of the law and corporate espionage please michael clayton walking down the corridor blown away zombies with a shotgun <laughs> they had this giant corporation and they work for them, and George Clooney has cleaned up some stuff for them, so he knows a lot. Now, uh, Tom Wilkinson plays a lawyer who's been also working for these guys and getting them off the hook on a lot of things, and he's just had enough. He knows too much. He knows the people that they've destroyed, and his mind just turns on him, and he goes crazy. He just strips down naked in, in one session. And so from that point on, that's where this company starts to get unraveled. George Clooney st starts to learn about a few things, and then he has to decide, you know, is he going to keep covering for these people or is he going to do something about it? At least until things take a really wrong turn. The movie keeps wanting you to feel like Clooney is going to go total tough guy. And he doesn't. He's not that kind of guy. He's just a lawyer. You know, he's a really good lawyer. But even the soundtrack is like, dun, 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 dun. It's like when, when George Clooney is about to just open the door to a urinal stall. It's playing the theme from the Terminator. Dun, 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 dun. George, you can see George Clooney like the camera like, man, I'm just taking this shit, all right? And Tom Wilkinson is so good in this. It's it's a shame he's not in the movie more. This guy, this is like the white Morgan Freeman. He could read in the phone book. <laughs> and the single determining criterion for involuntary incarceration is danger. Is the defendant a danger to himself or others? You think you got the horses for that? Well, good luck and God bless. But I tell you this, the last place you want to see me is in court. You're right. He's always a phenomenal actor. I mean, you know, you hear him with his with his British accent, but then he pops up in Batman Begins, and he's talking like a a, a New York mobster. But in this movie, damn, Leah, I knew you were gonna tie this to some comic book connection. Can we stay on the point of legal issues here? You see you know how what? he brought that full circle? I didn't no, bring no, it full no, circle. No, I flipped I, it back I, on you. Tilda Swinton, who plays uh, sort of this uh, sleazy female executive, she's what Michael Michael Clayton does, sort of, and she's not real good at it either because she walks around just sweating her ass off the whole time yeah if something goes wrong you do not want to have this bitch on your team because the moment some the moment somebody drops the ball her armpits get all wet she's her eyes got, bug out like a chihuahua <laughs> she's, got, she's got like a waterfall coming off her nose i'm like and everybody's looking at her and they're like damn bitch, what's wrong with you there's a lot of good performances in this movie and there are spots of really great dialogue and they, they make these really good scenes but the movie the pace in this movie is just crazy off yeah. yeah, it needs to be tightened up. Part of the problem is the sheer amount of information they're throwing at you. It's kind of this, it's almost like Syriana level. I'm still trying to decide if it's one of the best movies I've seen this year. I mean, it's definitely one of the better ones. Yeah. As just far as, as far as how it's made. So I'd still be willing to give it full price. It has sort of the zen-like thing going, and I hate to be made to feel stupid, so I guess I'm gonna have to see it again and just say full price. I mean, the payoff to me was worth it. It was really satisfying. One of the things I would like warn people about, like, it is a movie you have to pay attention to, and you might not get it. It's not for everybody in that, because this movie doesn't spoon feed you. Some people walked out confused about some things that happened that were even obvious. In other words, if you're stupid, don't go see this movie. Yeah, pretty much, that's that's my point, but I, I would give it full price. Could have used some zombies walking around. I mean, that's a yeah. You guys are morons. Okay, I'm going to bring it up to your level then. You know Batman should have came in and saved the day. No, Actually, Batman right. would have been perfect. See, and, look, and George Clooney did play Batman ooh, at one point. But see, not look in at the, you. Not the Batman we want to see coming. Yeah, he was the gayest Batman we had. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Time to make it real.